Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about pest control and the best natural ways that will control pests on your garden or farm. So right now I'm having an aphid problem and they're popping up, it's the beginning of the season and I've been doing a lot of research on the best natural ways for pest control. And I found really cool solutions for this that I think maybe you guys haven't heard of before because I didn't hear of and I've done lots of research. So let me tell you guys about the pest control methods that are the best. All right, everyone. So I'm gonna start this list off with ones that you probably heard of first and then end with ones that you probably have not heard of yet. So let me start with one that you may have heard of, which is dish soap. So dish soap is that all natural way of making a mild dish soap to spray on your plants to get rid of the aphids. You can do this by you adding one and a half teaspoons of soap per one quart of water. You mix it in a larger container and then you pour it into a household spray bottle and you can spray it right on the leaves where the insects appear. So this is the first step if you want to do a simple natural way. The next one you could do is garlic. Now you can do this in two different ways. You can plant garlic in and around your vegetable garden, or you can actually use garlic to get rid of the pests. So if you want to plant the garlic around your plants, that's fine. If you want to spray it or put it around, this is how you do it. So in a blender or a food processor, you crush about six cloves of garlic. You add five cups of water and four drops of dish soap. You may want to also add a little vegetable oil. So now you can strain this mixture through a cheesecloth or a fine strainer to move the large pieces. You will store this for up to a week in a jar. On, in a jar. And when you're ready to use, dilute the entire solution in three cups of water. Add this mixture to a household spray. You can coat the tops and bottoms of the leaves of the affected plants with this method. It might seem a little bit complicated, but if you wanna give it a try, go on ahead. Neem oil is the next one, and it's also a great way of treating pests. And the way you can do this again is spraying it on the effective leaves. It's also used as a fungicide to treat powdery mildew and black spots, so it can be used as two different things. A popular one also next is companion planting. There are different plants that you can put into your garden where different pests will attack them first. For example, marigolds, and if you listen to my other videos, my marigolds got attacked by Japanese beetles in July and they attacked nothing else, so that was perfect. You can plant onions, again, garlic, chrysanthemums, and petunias. These are all great companion plants. Okay, so for the next one is to release ladybugs into your garden. Now, I have did a little bit of research on this, and even though it is a good way to get rid of the pests, my next one is gonna be an even better one. But let me tell you about this one because I was gonna use it. So if you are gonna buy the ladybugs, you wanna make sure that they're native. A lot of ladybugs from what I found are farmed and they're not native and they could actually be a little detrimental to your garden. So make sure you're buying the ladybugs from a reputable place that they are native to the land. Okay, so the last one and the most interesting one, and I think the best one, while doing some research about the ladybugs, I was hesitant to buy them because I was worried that I was gonna buy a variety of ladybug that wasn't native. So I found an article about somebody who recommended a bug that was even more beneficial, native, and eats way more than the ladybugs. So you ready for it, guys? It's called the green lacewing. So let me tell you a little bit about the green lacewing. So you may have seen a green lacewing and thought it was even something else like a dragonfly. Um, it has green um, wings and it's a beneficial insect. So the lacewing is a really good predator that can eat hundreds of aphids in a week. They can even eat other types of pests that include spider mites, thrips, white fly, leaf hoppers, and mealybugs. So this is great because it's a, per a dual purpose for like a lot of different pests on the plants. So you know if you release them, they're going to be controlling a lot of the different problems that you may be having. So the green lacewing is the one that seems the most interesting to me because it seems like the best solution. It's already native. I know it's going to work because 
There's so much research on how beneficial they are. So this is the one that I was excited to share with you most because it's the one that I'm choosing to do just because I already have the problem. I'm on a large farm and I think that this is going to be a great solution. So I will be ordering them and when I do get them, I will make a video for you guys on how I release them and how they're doing and hopefully I will have the solution and then you guys will too. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you soon.